So Evernote have been quiet quite recently and they actually broke a little bit of their silence on the 5th of July with the release of something called recurring tasks. Now this is pretty much what it says on the tin but I wanted to overview what it does and how it works inside of Evernote and I guess what they're trying to accomplish with it for the future of their experience. Now, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Francesco and you can subscribe to keep productive below. And if you're interested, you can check out the Bento methodology course, which works with Evernote and tons of apps and is a really a great pillar that we've created around uh, sort of managing your tasks a lot better. So very relevant to today's video. If you notice I'm a little bit low energy, it's because I've got COVID right now. So if you're subscribing and you're like, oh God, this guy's so lack of energy, then uh, it's purely this reason. So I apologize in advance. So recurring tasks are now inside of Evernote. They actually added tasks to Evernote about a year ago now, about over a year ago probably. And it's been reasonably successful and apparently 88% um, of the Evernote professional users have said that this uh, has made them more productive in general tasks. So they're adding recurring tasks, a, a feature that a lot of the communi community has requested for quite a while. And essentially what it does is what it allow you to do is once you're inside of a task view, you can set a due date, but you can also set a re re renewal one and you can set it not just daily, you can set it um, every weekday or every certain day of the week. Um, and you can also set it to um, custom as well. So you can really go in, in much more detail. You can add a time and it just allows you to manage a recurring item. Now this could be useful for weekly team meetings. For example, if it was like update meeting agenda, you could have that run um, every single week. And then all of the notes inside of that existing note, that, that could be a pinned task at the top. And essentially you can then modify the details below each week to best fit to you and your team. So there are some great, obviously some great setups here. Um, I think Evernote, what they're trying to do is quite interesting. Um, they're more becoming this sort of tart, this, this hub experience versus this notes experience. They were traditionally looked at as this note taking experience, which they still are. But now with their tasks and calendar abilities in which they're both focusing on enhancing in 2022, the task side is getting a lot better. The calendar side is getting a lot, lot better. You're getting this sort of more GTD-like experience of you know being able to manage your notes, tasks, and calendar. And those are the three core apps that a lot of productivity professionals tend to just recommend a lot of the time. So it's interesting to see this update. I'll include all of the details below. Uh, one thing before we go, the pricing wise, I did have a little look at this. And to create and edit recurring tasks, you have to have a personal or a professional account. Now inside of the free account, you can use tasks to capture to-do lists inside of your notes. But when it comes to adding due dates, reminders, notifications to your tasks, that requires a personal professional account. As I said, um, much of the task experiences are based in that personal and professional accounts with more of the assigning customization and the Boolean terms for search results are in the professional account. So you'll get everything you need from the personal professional accounts when it comes to tasks, but obviously just to know that's something you might need to know. Anyway, folks, a big thank you. Please do subscribe, check out the Bento Methodology course, and I'll see you in a future video and hopefully feeling a bit better. <laughs> thank you, folks, and I'll see you soon.